better that is? Yeah. Now walk. You basically now just have to put that in your riding bank. Yeah, okay. I say, well, crap. All I do is change how stuff my position is and my horse improves by 20% from the movement. Yeah. yeah. What part is it going to take from the Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's it. Next time you canter. Yeah. Um, so when you're posting truck, yeah? Yeah. And you want an extended truck, what do you do? I just post a little bit later. Yeah, and you squeeze. Yeah. So if, if, if keeping posting and squeezing helps your horse know to extend the trot, yeah. then why would you post before you can? Oh, there you go. Wait, don't be that one that hits the volume button and gets mad at your TV for not changing channels. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Stupid remote when really you're hitting the, the volume button instead of the channel button. Okay. So you can post all the way through. You say, now, you basically need to give your horse a signal it says I want a new gate. Okay. Yes, you got the cannon, but you kind of got it like this. <laughs> Until it cannoned, right? Yeah. Now, that's, I bet you if you trot and then sit and bring your, have you ever driven a stick shift? No, I think that. Have you driven a, a dirt bike or anything with a clutch? No. Do, you know, do, you know, do you know what a clutch is or how it works? Yes. Okay, so if you think of your hands like a clutch, that's how you would change gears. Okay. If all you do is hit the gas, your car won't change gears. It'll just go faster. So when you go from the trot to the canter, one, like you said, to keep the, the, the trot getting bigger and bigger and bigger, mm -hmm. you squeeze and elevate your seat. Yeah. That's so your horse knows not to canter. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then the opposite is also true. Your horse would think not to canter because you kept posting. Right, you know, that, you we talked about that last night. That's in the next order. Sorry. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to. We're ordering any pond here. <laughs> Now you're gonna sit, bend your elbows. Oh. Knew, like, not that that was a perfect transition, but he knew kind of right away what you wanted, didn't he? <laughs> so then all that was missing there was enough leg, because when you applied what more you hand, awesome you needed more leg. But your horse knew something was gonna change, which is what, what matters. Yeah. Let's do that again. So far, I've, I've liked the trot. But the canner is a, the canner and the transition isn't what we want. So we're gonna keep doing that until it gets more supple. Just finished summer's lesson because we were just working on this like Thursday. How about opening your right hand? <laughs> All we're working on was not to canner. Open your right hand. Really? Open it wide. That was a good point. Like if they do the same thing, yeah. Totally because then you can just tell someone like, and and, you know, something like and also like, because I'm more stiff mm -hmm. up here too. When I get supple, he gets supple. He's like, he's like, okay. Go. Now walk. We'll do that a couple more times. That was much better. No. And he relaxed. You got a much better canter, and a, and your horse didn't keep trying to pick up the left lead, right? Yeah. What did you change? Um, my body. And. and like, the yeah. opening right rein. Yeah. How I describe that to people, because I'm, I'm a bit of a weirdo with analogies, right? But it's, you, you get two types of friends, okay? You ever, you ever, how old are you? 18. Okay, so you've driven, right? Okay. So, you get two types of friends. You've driven your friends home? You get, you get these two friends. Go into your house and go, right! You missed the turn, you idiot. And you're going, it would have been nice to know, like, I don't know, a turn ahead? Right? <laughs> you get that one and you get the other friend that goes, hey, two lights from now you're gonna take a right. Okay. Don't be the first friend okay. that doesn't give them any signal, just goes, you idiot, you didn't know what I meant. I usually do that. I kind of figured. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize this guy. <laughs> Has he been good, Sam? Oh yeah, he's he's, he's, he's good. not any unnecessarily crankiness.
Right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. Now wait. Good. Help him, help him anyway. It was only the distance in that got you, right? It was only the distance in that got you. Now, whether that's he didn't listen or you didn't see, I don't know. But I want you to I want you to go up this line. Now don't hurry him, okay? You can lengthen him, but don't hurry him. He's not ready to mentally take the speed. I mean the speed of instruction. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Great, left leg. Go ahead. Don't fight. Good. Opening right lane. Opening wide lane, Santa. Good. Find your seat and crotch. Keep going. Increase the tempo just a little. Good. Get there. Now wait. That's okay. Good. What I think is going to happen there, okay? is I think that's going to be a really good learning lesson because you said you'd be better off moving up and you went, I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> you should have listened. Yeah. Because, yes, it was too long, but it was way better than what, what he did. You chose the better of the two not quite right. Okay. And he should have jumped in the back at the beginning, right? Yeah. So you learned your lesson. I don't think you can blame me for that. Start lightening your seat and see if you can take it. But while he's being really crooked, I don't have another door shut. Yeah. And then try to lighten. If he starts going this way again, go, no, close the door now. Free it up again. It's not that I want you to be stuck there forever, but it seems to be working for yeah. the straightness and the crookedness, right? Yeah.
Thanks. Stay with him. Stay with him. There you go. Good. Don't start climbing out ahead too much. There you go. There you go. Good. That's right. Keep going. Try this gymnastic one more time. So you can start working that on your own. Do your line. Come on. Pick up a new lead. But doing it on on purpose is going to expose where he needs to work, right? Right. Right. Like the test exposes the work. When I'm sliding, I do it when they're ready. But then when they're ready for the next step, I go, I need it now. Yeah. Need, but he's not quite ready for that. Okay. Then this line was great. Really nice. Here found the right lead. So they start to climb a little. He's not ready for that yet. You can get light, but if you're going to get light, it's got to be here. And there, I'd say, like, it's just green. Yeah. Okay. And you're going downhill now towards the gate, and you got like a little bit like a snowball downhill. So just try this line again. Flow in the two a little bit, and then pull, just like you do in the camera. Almost sink down and let him carry you a little bit there. In the way where she's going. No, she's just doing just So guiding a low guiding rein. Sorry, a low guiding rein. Just right. Now tall. Now tall. Watch him, he's always trying to shift to the outside, especially because the gate's there. So do that again and don't commit to the fast distance. <laughs> you got it. Let him leave long. Now wait. Whoa. Whoa. Call. 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 Good. His name's Amy. Call Amy. Amy Winehouse. Terry Joe. TJ. His name. And. Uh, so I like Amy Winehouse better. <laughs> Try to make me go to rehab. Anyway. Good song. For actually uh, no reason, really. So he's jumped a few times now. Um, is this just for decoration? This thing. Is it? Because <laughs> this goes up. No, not just. I need it. He does run off. Does he? Here. <laughs> this is like a hood ornament. It's a Christmas ornament. <laughs> She's festive. Dang, dang. It's like you, Kendra. I mean, like, yeah. we haven't been jumping huge or, like, as frequently as I do with the horses that are going, but yeah, he's. I'm not he's to worry about protecting him to death. Huh? I'm not to worry about protecting him to death. Not to death. Him. Yeah. But I will absolutely cry if it breaks again. <laughs> hurt himself. He's very delicate, so much so that I can put liniment on him and he swells. Like he is a flower. Okay. Yeah. But he can do like all of this stuff. I'm not not trying to scare you off from doing That's anything exciting. I, I usually end up doing what I want to do. I'll just rely on you to tell me that we can or we can't do that. Like, and, and don't feel bad. Like, if, if I yeah. say go do this, Chris, yeah, I can't do that because that's okay. fine. Okay. All right. So, only time go a little. It was just kind of meandering through the trot holes. Saw a little bit of that. <laughs> Let me watch him go again. He's got a lot of power in his muscles, right? But he a little bit wants to be. He wants to be built a little hollow back, right? Even though you've got him all muscled up, he still he still a little bit wants to be this way, kind of in his. So what I do is I first let him use their head and neck and back first. Okay. See, look, he's walking like this. Yes. Make him walk. Let go. This is so now I'm going to blame this on you, right? Because now this is the horse, the second horse that you've come out in the sun, right for the bridle, but without any movement. I love horses on the bridle, but I want them to be on the bridle so they move better. It's not on the bridle so they move worse. Does that make sense? Already bigger steps behind, right? Mm -hmm. You want to get him stronger? Have him take reach here. Have him come underneath himself more, so more weight there. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Oh, sorry. Uh, right behind. Okay. I still think making them 
holds himself behind is better than... I would rather do more good work than less not good work. Now trot. But just stay there, it's fine. Now walk and do that again. Now, all you got there basically was tempo. There was no... There was no, no, but for the, for the sake of the conversation, there wasn't a lot of elasticity. He didn't, he didn't step into the, there. That was better. Well, I think you need to soften him a little more. Just let him, let him reach his head. Over these. Like this? Yeah. You can't try pulls out you hanging on them. Come do that again. Okay, now what I want you to do, okay? How, how would you say that was good? It's good, right? I want you to shorten his head and neck and frame and really package him up like you had him to begin with. Okay, now keep him there like you had him. Now go over your pole. Got to keep his nose in because that shirt didn't go anywhere. Keep his nose in. There you go. That's what I'd rather that for this exercise only. Better. If a horse has a long neck and a flat back and you've got to shorten it to where it does this shirt, what you're really trying to create is, is, is this, not squished in. You're not trying to make them into a roly poly, right? Yep. You're trying to make them into a round, like a wheel, okay. right? A big wheel, as big of a wheel as you can make. Now canter. Canter. Hate it. That's no, how you're going to tell me to sit. No. I don't know. <laughs> How'd that work for you? It didn't. <laughs> it looked like I was ready to, to you know, good yeah. job. You can't it on your own. Yeah, I heard you <laughs> before you told him. That's why I cantered instead of walked to see if you let me slide. But I did. Know. I didn't scream. That's me not. That's me letting it slide. It makes it a lot harder. But you, you basically need to say, "We're about to change gears." Yeah. You, just, you just put the gas on, and he's like, yeah. and then kind of fell into the canter. You, you've got to say, "No, I don't want more trot. I want a new gear." Okay. Go ahead again. So get it going and coil that canter. Coil it. But you have to have something to coil first. See. Now bigger, again. So I think your legs are a little too far in front of you, which just drives your seat back. Sit, slow down a little, and drop your stirrups. <laughs> it's too fuck me off. There. Good. Good. Now make a small circle somewhere. Small. Small. Look. There. There. That's a better seat. That's a better seat. Watch. Good boy. What was the difference in that seat? Canner to when you had your stirrups. I would be pushing myself out. Yeah, because you were you were like he was like doing that to you every step. Yeah. All of a sudden when you set into the motion, you were here. Okay. 
big rangy horses are a lot, especially when you're short. Bradley, you don't have much range of motion. So I think if I was picking the perfect horse for you, I wouldn't pick a monster. No, I, you pick whatever jumps great. I'm not saying, what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah. for you to follow the motion, it's going to take extra work. Work, yeah. Say, so, well, I hate, I hate the way little horses feel. Like, I want them to feel substance. Yeah. Then. And I got to work harder on this. Then you have to work harder on that. It's fine. Or get a shorter version of that. Okay. But that horse has so much range. Yes. The answer to that isn't just hang on. Okay. It's find a way to follow that range. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. When you had your feet near full, look, if I put my left foot where my right foot is, what's going to happen? Okay. If I put my left foot where my right foot is, what's going to happen? Okay. So when you ride around, putting your feet just a little bit in front of the girth, how are you supposed to climb your ass out of the saddle? They're not. So lengthen your stirrups, drop your stirrups, do something, slide your leg back. Because look, here, where are, my, where are my feet in relation to my hips? Center. What out now? What out now? Why? They have to be so I don't fall on my butt. <laughs> Just because you got a saddle underneath it doesn't mean you want to fall on your butt in the saddle. So you have to have your legs under you. Okay. They've got to be here. And you've got to follow the motion. If you have a hard time, which I do, like one of mine, uh, one of my Grand Prix horses, uh, TKO, I, have to, I ride him without strips most of the time. I just can't, I just can't sit and wrap my leg around all the time, just the way he's built or the way I ride or the way I'm built, I don't know. But so I just do some, either drop my strips or ride with a long strip and wrap my leg around. Okay. But I want you here okay. when you follow. Okay. But you get here and you go cramp, then you're like plopped on the back of your butt and then you just kind of, and then you get this. Obviously that's an exaggeration, but that's what happens. Yeah. Because the girth is constant. So if you can keep your leg constant, he'll learn to accept that amount of leg. To be fair, it's just a lot easier to keep a, a, a girth constant than a leg. I get that part. That's better. I see how much your leg's under you a little better there, right? Now drop your stirrups again. Drop your stirrups again. There. Now wrap your leg around and relax and let him carry you but not falling down. There. Now just pick your feet up and turn your toes and the stuff can just go on there automatically. Just turn your toes. in. Really there you go. Fishing for your stroke doesn't oh, work as well as turning your toe in, okay? Yeah. There you go. Does he change leads? She won't. By leaping across yeah. there. She does. Yeah, 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 she does that. Yeah. Oh, show me one. <laughs> oh boy. I'm in. He really leapt across the whole arena. He usually does. I'll tell you what. Woo! Did you guys see it? I did. It was scary. Nice. Now show me another one. No, I get he might do it. I get that. I just want to see. I want to see how he moves and goes. Okay, not bad, right? Walk. He usually won't switch the right hind. Right to left or left to right? Right to left. And okay. he, like, hits the contact and usually, like, actually, like, dolphins straight up. What I don't know, and I, I'd love to say, oh, it's because of the, the magical seat work we just did. Yeah, no, I think I think we just created a better canner. That might that help you. Actually, yeah, yeah. So now here's what I want you to do. I want you to go pick up your right lead. Get the right bend. Okay. We get the left bend and we wait. Okay. And then you wait until he steps through. Okay. Don't. Don't ask for it. Okay. You can put your leg back. But don't you throw. Like, I mean, I invented that and it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I tried 15 years solid with commitment. <laughs> of throwing my shoulders and forehead up the neck. I still didn't get many lead changes. <laughs> I've had more success recently. If anything, thinking about having... Like, if I'm going right to left, yeah? As I ask for the change, I think putting my left shoulder almost to where my right shoulder should be. Okay. You don't. You do this with your hip. Okay. Seems like your timing's pretty good because I see you get the changes, but... 
you're not going to ruin your timing by having a better position. You're just going to have a better position with the same timing. That's not a good canner. Drop your stirrup. Drop your stirrup. <laughs> good. Gentle. Now just stay. Left bend and wait. Good. Good. Turn back. Circle. Why are you so circle? Why are you so heavy on your right hand? Circle. Why are you heavy on your right hand? Open the stride. There. Diagonal. I'm gonna fall. Keep going. Going. What are you talking about? <laughs> Turn right. Diagonal. Don't lock. Don't lock. Stay in your gas. Yeah, stay, stay, stay. Right leg back. That's okay. Good. Not that it went well, <laughs> but that you stayed, and I want to see what he does when he's right and wrong. Okay. Stay what? So, what happens, I think, is when you're going downhill, any, all the weights downhill, it's harder for me to change. Because you did the right to left here, and you did it pretty clear. Here, he did it pretty well, but he was funky, but he's going downhill. So I think when you did it that way, he's more uphill. If that's the case, then you need to get him a little more uphill, heading downhill. Right? And then what I want you to do is move his shoulder over. Love God, people. Move his shoulder over, and I want you to try to get it only the hind leg. Don't try to get the front. Elevate the front a little. Right leg back and try to get the hind leg first. Good, now take a break. Get on minus, because I want to see the mechanics of what he does. It's a bit of an odd. Yes. He's, got, he's got big movement, right? But I want you to pick up your right leg now, okay. and I want you to open and close the strike. Get it elastic, and I don't want you to brace so hard. Whoa. Well, there. Now open the stride. Now don't resist quite so hard. Now close the stride. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah, but don't don't resist quite so hard. Just start to be a little bit more free. Just gonna allow it the first time. Just wait. That's better, huh? Good, that's enough. I think we want to address those more today. It seems like when you restrict him a lot, he can't come through. Okay. But it seems like if you don't restrict him at all, he just wants to run through. So it's going to be a little bit like create the balance, allow without tipping in or out. Okay. You got more than you didn't. No, that was that was actually, I felt that one actually yeah. like really come through. Another thing I like to do with horses like that, uh -huh. which maybe we'll try. Let's try it just once. Uh -huh. Pick up your counter counter around the rail. Okay. And put him in the shape once he's got it put him in the shape of the lead you want okay so i want you to counter cater down the rail do you want me to do right to left right again to left, yeah, yeah. okay but, but come off there just go to the loop the rail put him in the new lead but then don't ask for cheese at all good now you're going to come down the rail down the rail yep down the rail you're all right just wait just wait just wait Walk, get the Now hold it through this corner. Good. Now come off the rail, now towards rail with a left bend and wait. Just wait. Just wait. Right leg back and wait. Right leg back. Good. Now you turn up. I'm not hanging up the net. I don't want to end up on the dirt. Turn it in. Let's go through this corner. Set it up right, and then I think when you tell him you're going to change, oh, good boy. Let him do it under you. Don't say, oh, good boy. Don't trust him to do it or not. Just wait. Good. Just wait. Just wait. Good. Right leg back. That worked, didn't it? Right? He came a little out of frame, but he came through easy, didn't he? Now wait. 
Now wait. Now get the new shape. Well, get the new shape and wait. Just wait. Good. Good. He's making a big deal. You didn't ask him. He said, can I please change? And you went, sure, if you'd like. Get the new bend. Don't get forward. Right leg back, but don't ask for the change. Don't ask. Don't ask. Keep going. Don't ask. Good. I don't care if he gets I just wanted you to hold your position. You want me to put my Keep going, yes. Up? Yes. Put your outside leg back, but don't ask with your upper body. There you go. Normally, once he misses it, he totally misses it. Right? Yeah. He missed it and then went, ooh, I can fix it. That's another upgrade for me. Is that what? That's another upgrade for me. Yeah, no, absolutely. When he's clear uphill on the diagonal, that's good. You can use that one. Okay. But when he wants to get straight in the body, he's not as good as Okay. And the first couple times he missed it, it was over. Yeah. I, I can't get it now. Yeah. And he went, go. Okay. And he went, this sucks. He went, yeah, it does. And then he went, okay. I said, if you want, come on, do it. come on, yeah. that's not going to help at all. Now, just pick up your right lead canner and just do your 2-2, two -two, your Cavaletti. What happened in that corner? Keep going. Huh? I'm not sure what happened on the way in. He does that when he sees a jump sometimes. What does he do? Just build? He like runs towards it a little oh, okay. sideways or... Go ahead, let's try it again. Change anticipates the counter. Can we anticipate the jump? Good. Good. Now let's come the other way. Oh. Right. Oh, okay. 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 This one's a sharp. Didn't wrap around. Yeah. That's but he good. can. He can. That's good. Good. Really good. I thought it was. Right one. his head and neck on the same as like you did in the front. And he might get a little quick, but I just want to see what he does. If you, if you hold your brake, and you allow him to kind of poke him a little bit round and low as he does. Mark. Mark. We didn't rub the others. But if you want to a scope your jump, you don't want this. That's like, oh, I dodged it. I don't, I want him to wrap around it in his shape. That feeling. Go ahead. Start over. Start where I was. I'm going to start over. There you go. You're right, you're right. Good. Good, now we start again. Let him do it. Let him do it. Great. 
That's excellent. I don't mind that at all. I'm happy he's not rushing and nervous. See, that's a better jump, huh? And also, he's not having a nervous punch yet. Don't close his stride down too much. Let him use his head and neck. Don't rush. Let him use his head and neck. Let him. Let him. That's a, that's a big jump. Now, let, that's right. Now, encourage him to use his head and neck. Don't lock him. Encourage him to use his head and neck. Let him use his head and neck. Get there, get it. Let him have a stride, because you want him to use his head and neck. Let him use his head and neck. Come on, have a stride, have a stride. Whoa. That's scopier, huh? Look. Halt. Inside out, not outside in. Don't jump it left. Jump it right with a left turn. That'll give you more space. Now, you tried to give yourself more room by here, didn't you? Did you create more room? What did you create? The inside track creates more room. This is one of them. Coming in makes it to where you can come out. Staying out makes it where you have to go in. This jump's easy to get to. That jump's hard to get to. So use this track to make that track better. Is that the which I just aim up. There you go. Look, 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 look. Look. Let him use his head and neck. Halt. 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 So you are really, really late with your eyes both plays. Back and see what happens to the distance. Go ahead. Turn your eye early. What are you looking at? There. There. when he's not stiff in the bridle, isn't he? Yes. Don't choke a horse down because you're afraid of the jump or you don't want to jump good. You want him to jump good and then you learn how to ride it. Let him jump good. Let him use the tiny neck. Let him. why he came down on it behind. Whatever angle you choose, land on that angle. So if you chose yeah, this like angle, I'm which was nice, left. and then you went, oh, we're going left. Yeah. So he left the ground like this. Okay. Squeeze him across. Then, if anything, move out. Okay. Not in, which is okay. why he shut down behind. Unlock it. There you go. You can get that first one. You can get it. That's right. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. That's right. The 
answer to him being a little fresh on the backside isn't I don't take the good distance. It's like training to be good on the backside. Okay. Look. Look. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. Wow. Look right. I get it. Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. Let him do it. I save that for like when I'm going to jump big, right? But then what's going to happen is you're going to want to get even shorter when you jump bigger. Yeah. And then you're going to be out of balance. Right. Okay. To jump. Yeah, to jump. Drop your stirrups. <laughs> Put your leg hang down. Just slow, slow, slow. Turbo. <laughs> turbo. I think I called you turbo last time. Well, it wasn't for how you thought. I like that No, slower. Now sit softer. Try to try to soak up the energy softer. There. I don't care if he's slower. There. Turn right. Okay, now turn, pick your feet up, turn your toes, and pick up your stirrups. Now close. Do they feel do they feel long anymore? Did they get any shorter? No. Well, it's just because you carried your leg up too high. Yeah. Hey, right? <laughs> Within reason, okay? But I, I, I don't try to be right or wrong. I just try to tell you what I see. Yeah. And then sometimes, and, and many a time, it seems to help people. To me, while you ride very pretty and well, you ride like you're, you're checking off a mental checklist. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. You know, the book says do this. The book says do that. Supposed to do this. Too. And and that's not how feel works. Yeah. Yet you ride with feel, so it's interesting. You don't quite fit the mold of um, a cerebral rider, mm -hmm. and you don't quite fit the mold of just a physical rider. You're kind of a little bit in the middle, which is good. But you, I watch you ride around, and it's just you're supposed to be in front of your leg, so I do that. They're supposed to be here, so I do that, and it's it's very it's very it's as beautifully feeling mechanical as you can get, but it's mechanical. Yeah. Does does that make sense? We're just gonna try it. Yeah. But the elastic and beautiful, you have both. Yeah. But you answer is this: armpits, chest out. Look at me, I'm perfect. That, that's you a little bit. This is an exaggeration, but that's you a little bit. Lucky for me, well, I have a loose swinging left leg and, leg and or swinging leg and stuff, things like that. This part of it is not complicated, and this part is easy for me. All of these are having self attention, you just say, well, after we're running up, trying to practice all the time. Does that make sense? So, I know riding out of position, right, can look, look awkward, right? It can't. Okay? For sure it can look awkward, but 
Tell me what looks more stiff in the saddle. Good job. If you need more, I got a whole bit wall. Yes, I just want to have an idea. <laughs> no, I got plenty of bits. I'm pretty sure I have around 50. I, my bit wall? I love my bit wall. That's actually not a, not a, a, a bad option. That might make him a little low. I like these a lot, but they make, might, might be a little too soft. See, I don't find him strong at all. Not even a little bit. But I think it's you've got to keep fixing. Uh, we'll, we'll do it in this because I don't want it to be about that. Yeah. But maybe before we're done with we'll someone. Oh, this is also a CD. That's really cute. That's a little softer. You like And you don't want to ignore it. You want to lift it up and go, no. You want him to hold it up. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Go right first. Get that one out. What, 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 what did you see? Or what, what, is, what did you guys see? What, do you see the difference the way I explain it, or did I just do it and it worked kind of thing, as far as with the seat following? Yeah, I only saw you on him. Oh, okay. But you do see that when you get stiff in your upper chest and your and your armpits, it, it does make you bounce in the saddle. Yeah. Did you hear what he just said? That's what Maddie was doing, stiff in the upper body. Yeah, that's what and I And he didn't follow a, the motion. Mm -hmm. I what, got a yeah. video of good, when good. he was talking about it. Yeah. Solving all kinds of problems. There you go. Now just, now just relax that a little more. There. There. That's so much better now. This sounds so better. Look around. Look to the right too much. Look to the left. That's a great Everything way he be stuck in front of you all the yeah. time. So I video there. The first because that's also part of being mechanical. Yeah. And then she would lock her hips that too. And she's loosening her arms. Her yeah, hips you are don't. Arms. You don't look at all. You just look wherever you're. It looks like your head's stuck on. Follow the motion. There. There. What do you do with his body when you turn your head? He followed you. Yeah. Turn your eyes. Turn your head. Turn in here. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's that's out there. I said turn in here. <laughs> Stop laughing. No. Turn. Now make as small of a turn as you can. That's as small of a turn as you can, right? Okay, go take a break. So there's the circle, ready? Yeah. Yeah, so he's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was pulling and trying, and she was, you know, come on, come on, come on. Right? That's the circle, look. Heads up, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Fall over? How are you going to yeah. fall over when they're on their... 
See? You. Come on. Yeah. You did that. Does it work? Stronger. Yeah. So, you about finding the balance. So, what you really want is this. You want him to light? Mm -hmm. And you want him there. You don't want him leaning on the hand. Right. Your hands are not supposed to be the steering wheel. Yeah. Your hands are the indicators. So, just gentle. Yes. 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 There you go. A little too much outside hand. Left leg. You're good. You can't do too much of it. Left leg. Left leg. Load behind. Okay. There. There you go. Now take a break. That's hard on him, okay? Now there's gonna be a couple times where you, you went from not enough out that hand to too much back to not enough. So it's here. No. But then you don't hang it on. You go, no, no. And then when they've done once they're loaded in outside balance, they're here. Yeah. As soon as they start doing this again, you go, no. Once they hold up, then you say, okay, good, then you relax it again. Tanner. Don't post. Tanner. Now a little outside half halt. There. Softening hand. Turn. Turn. There. Turn. There. Turn. There. Turn. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> now relax. Now relax. They can't do it forever. That's hard work. <clears throat> so walk. What you have is this. Don't lock on the inside, buddy. Don't lock. Outside, don't lean, and then they're here. Yeah. The, the second time I tried to do your circle, he was just inside it on his own. Yeah. Whoa. Well, yeah. I jumped. Oh, you face it off that turn. That was just turn heavy. Yeah. You do that physical yeah. mechanism that he did through here. Yeah. And you wanted to make that turn. How good was the turn going to be? That's the understatement of the century. Not even a little bit. Why? What happened here when he turned well? Yeah, and he stayed inside himself. He yeah. basically created self-carriage, right? Realistically, he was just careful and scopy. He wasn't actually correct as yeah. far as staying inside himself. No. If I made that... Well, it's not very right. If I made that middle. four foot high, you'd have had holes up in your teeth because he didn't stay inside himself. Inside yourself. Inside yourself. Inside yourself. Inside yourself. Well, one of them you could compete and one of them would go great down the long side and then it would suck. <laughs> does, does that make sense? So that is what you need when you have a, a tricky course coming. So maybe you can put those goals together. I wanted to do this and this and this and this, but I wanted to also do it from here. Now guess what, you're gonna do that to him. And he's gonna jump a little average. And then he's gonna catch one right here. And then he won't jump average again after that. He'll go, ooh, I've gotta stay inside myself and give a big effort. Okay, now that was all inside hands to fix that. That's not your answer. A good canner again. And then collect the good canner. Contain it a little. Delay your break. Delay your break. Circle. Good. No, no. Not so much outside hand. It's not a steering bar. There. If he gets up and stiff and nervous, you don't go. Better. Whoa. Whoa. Right bend. Right bend. There you go. Which jump was better? Imagine if he did that without you having to manufacture what you'd have. Yeah. If, he, if he still finds a way to wrap himself around it, I'll be happy. Okay. 
but you want to you want to use this front to I show him to do to this. It. Yeah. And then when we go square, we still want him to do it. But if he doesn't, he'll learn. The problem is with this good of a jumper, when it's this rampy, he can't learn. Yeah. He jumps to be like, he, there's nothing to learn. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. Yeah. Okay. So so come and do that again, just like that. Okay. You want to keep the jumper? Yeah. Stay with him. Whoa. Yep. Great. Good. is if I think they're going to fail, I let them fail a little bit spectacularly, as long as I think they can handle it. And if I think they're going to be successful, I try to never finish. Yeah. So he's got a little bit thick for his bridge, and he's got his blood up, and he's like, I got this. And so did you. He's not going to touch. <laughs> he's not going to touch. Right? And I went, I think he's going to. And then he came on down, and went, oh. Did he do it nervous? No, he did it very respectful. Yeah. He went, yeah, my old method didn't work. I'm not going to lean and pull. That sucks. Yeah. That's what he should learn. Yeah. I just helped him. You baited him into it, doing a little bit on purpose yeah. to teach him a lesson. He's a little bit, I got this. Yeah. Now the, you know, yeah, you do. You make it easier and easier and easier and bigger and bigger. The bigger makes their blood up, the bigger gets their eye up, and the bigger also makes their bodies ready. 